Hello, Indiana Junk Journal people. I am having hosting a junk journal retreat uh, in a place called Danville, Indiana uh, on January 2024. That's coming up really fast. January 18th through the 21st. It's a Thursday through a Sunday. So when I host these retreats, um, this will be my fifth retreat that I'm hosting. My first one in Indiana. Uh, it's a four day, three night event where you come and you don't worry about meals or chores or anything like that. You just sit down and you craft and we have our meals. Um, really, uh, you know, noon, five, and then there's a continental breakfast in the morning. Uh, I provide all the snacks, the coffee, tea, hot tea, and bottled water that you want. And you just hang out with other ladies and craft. So it's it's basically at a house that has uh, been converted into a crafting house. So it's designed to rent it out essentially. And everybody gets like a six foot table, I think. Actually the Indiana one, I think they might be four foot tables. Usually at my retreats, most of them are six foot, but I believe this one, they're four foot tables. I need to confirm that. But you you get your own table, your chair, and usually like a little garbage can. And um, so, uh, yeah, but you hang out with other people. What do we do at the retreats? We craft, but I also bring along craft projects that you can work on. You uh, have access to all of my supplies that I bring along, and that's usually lots of cool old book pages and things like that, uh, buttons, embellishments, whatever, lots of stuff. So you also receive a gift bag. Uh, the gift bag's pretty awesome. It's at least $50 worth of junk journal supplies. Uh, and I even customize them. So you give me a little, a little preference list and then you, uh, you customize, I customize them according to what you, uh, you like, what journal themes you're working on. And yeah, the sleeping accommodations, like I said, are included. So all of, usually it's like, you know, like imagine like a three bedroom ranch. So, uh, I do all of the cooking and the meal prep in the kitchen. There's usually a big crafting room and then the bedrooms are converted into these sleeping rooms where everybody just kind of grabs a twin bed and and you're good and then someone said I'm a little worried because I snore and it turns out I think we all snore <laughs> so if we all just sleep really good put our little headphones on no <laughs> um I was a little nervous about the whole idea of sleeping in these spaces with people that I'm just getting to know and it honestly was just cool. It really was. It turned out to be awesome. There's, it's just fun. It's like a crafting slumber party and you can't help but have fun because people understand. They're like, we've taken multiple times. We've taken uh, the, the, uh, the field trip to the local uh, thrift store. So that's really fun and antique stores. Uh, yeah, at least three of the retreats that's happened at. So <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, it's just, and you get to know these ladies so well. So if you go to the first retreat, you're like, oh, I don't know anybody. And then by the second retreat, you're like, I'll share a room with so-and-so because I already know them. So then by the second retreat, you're no longer sleeping in a room with someone that you don't know. But honestly, we're all just like crafting and then we drop and we fall asleep and we wake up and then we go craft. I mean, there's, <laughs> it's just a good time. Uh, such good friendships that I've formed with the people because you just get to know everybody so well. We just, you know, sit there and share stories. And the one other great thing that we have is the D stash table. What do I love about the D stash table? Uh, basically everybody brings the stuff that maybe they don't they have too much of, it's not really their style anymore, they're just kind of sick of looking at it or whatever, and you think, oh, it's gonna be all the 
junky, not good stuff. But that's not what happens. Everybody's like, why would you get rid of this? And, and you know, it became a joke because we'd be like, I'll just go over here one more time. And I found something else in here. And ah, the D stash table was so much fun and everybody just couldn't get over it. So, you know, uh, and we couldn't kind of get over how big of a pile it was. <laughs> it was a huge pile of things. So really good. One of them someone brought hand dyed paper an entire huge bin of hand dyed paper because they just really love doing it and they have way more than they could ever use so they just shared it and they were beautiful so unbelievable uh the things that that you get to do uh and it's just like i don't know i can't explain what a good feeling it is because it's just happy thoughts good times no stress nothing just it's it's so worth it. At any rate, if you are interested in coming to the Indiana one, it's coming up really, really soon, grab your spot. You, you will not regret it. Honestly, you will not. <laughs> I just love going to these. So, all right, the link is in the description below. And as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.